Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. I'm Jerry Byrne. It's irishradio.org. And uh, over the time since uh, COVID struck back in March, I've been speaking to the great and the good of uh, entertainment and the arts. And I'm delighted to say hello to uh, a lass from uh, way up in uh, northeast uh, Donegal who's uh, made her mark in uh, music. I'm delighted to say hello to uh, Anne McConaughey, uh, otherwise known as Anne Biddy. Anne, how are you? Hello, Jerry. How are you? Nice no. to talk to you. Same as that, Anne. Same as that. Uh, tell me this: How did you? How did you end up with the name uh, Anne Biddy? Ah, uh, well, growing up uh, in North Donegal, here beside the Lafanet Head Lighters, um, Sweeney was my maiden name, and as there was a few families with the same surname back then, they had nicknames, and we were called the Biddies. We were known as the Biddies. And that's how it stuck with me. Even growing up, I was called Anne Biddy, and I suppose that's uh, that's how that name came about. So right. it's a family nickname. Right, fair play. Well done on uh, well done on using it to uh, to its uh, to its optimum effect. Fair play. Uh, tell me this: Have you all yeah. <laughs> have you always been into music? I would have always been into music. Yeah, um, I suppose growing up, we had uh, always got the country music on on the radio and. Um, I had cousins that always came home from Scotland. They were older than I was at the time, and they were always playing, you know, all the greats, you know, Big Tom and Philomena and um, Susan McCann and all them in the tapes and that tapes then. And uh, we would listen to them and we would sing along and we would jive to learn to jive in the hall at home and everything. So we always had the music in the house, and um, then I would have sang, you know different functions and you sing in the choir and I suppose the music was there all the time you know right right and uh, then you were talking about you, you also do uh, songwriting as well yes well I mean I suppose like I've uh, so in the last I suppose decade just that I kind of went into the music more so um, on I suppose a part time kind of a uh, basis you know singing and um, I decided to to do a CD, I wanted always to do a CD, so I just for fun did one uh, back in, gosh, that was January 2011, um, Country Music in My Soul, it was just, you know, an album of covers, and then after that I thought uh, I wouldn't mind trying to do an original, or if maybe somebody would write me one, or whatever, and then I started kind of humming and these words came to me. I used to do a lot of walking. I still do, but I would hum away and sing away to myself, and that's kind of how that came about, you know. Well done. Um, and I, you know, had the first song, so maybe not today, which would have been the first song, and um, four for eleven, one from my wee mammy, and um, that the proved very popular. And I just kept kind of every time I went to the studio, then I would come up with more songs, you know. Excellent. So. Yeah, and it did very well. The the, the album's entitled uh, "Maybe Not Today." You know, some cracking, uh, some cracking songs on it. I'll have to say, well done. Oh, thank you. Uh, nice songs to you. Is what it's actually called the album, and maybe not today would be the first track. Okay, okay, right. That I would have recorded. So, um, yeah, that that was that was two thousand and thirteen. Believe it or not, when I wow. launched that album, you know. And um, Sean Cuddy actually went on and recorded three songs from that album, which was a great boost and a great honour for me, like, you know. Indeed, indeed. You know, some some, uh, some absolutely excellent, excellent uh, songs on it. Uh, no doubt about that. But the, Thank you. you know, well, well, you know, well done. And uh, it, what you know, you were you were doing uh, your 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 thing in uh, music, uh, singing uh, around the place and all the rest of it. And uh, uh, then suddenly it all came crashing down. The same as for everybody else in uh, March of this year. Yeah, Jerry. It's. Uh, I mean, who would ever have thought that there would be no music anywhere? There'd be no musicians, no singers, there'd be no, no theatre, no concerts, no dances. I mean, you'd never, ever have thought that that would ever come to a halt. Because I always, always said, no matter what you went through in life, if you had music in your life, you know, if you were if you were feeling down, it would lift you. And if you were feeling good for them, it would lift you higher. Yes. And all of a sudden, there's just no music and... 
it's really strange, you know, it's really strange. Um, I suppose it's just this, the nature of this virus and um, it's still very strange to think that you can't, there's, you know, that there is no music and um, unfortunately there's not a lot, of, a lot of, a lot you can do about it. Indeed, indeed, that's it. Um, now, I'm fortunate enough that I work in pharmacy. You know, that was my, that's what I do um, during the day. So I'm lucky in the case that I have that, you know. But I do feel for anybody that is totally dependent, you know, on the music. Um, I really do feel for them because there's not a lot of help for the music industry at all out there, you know. Mm. Um Certainly not, and it doesn't seem to be in any of the, you know, anywhere. Like you know, there's the music and the entertainment has been kind of forgotten about in that sense. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but I mean it's, 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 it's obvious, you know, and it's very, it's sad, you know. But indeed, indeed, it um, is, you know, and it's affected every single. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's it's the performing arts really, and it's you know, and yes. it's right it's right around the world. I mean, it's a, it can be the actors on on a Broadway stage or London's exactly. West End or anything. The whole uh, the whole lot is uh, you know seriously. Yeah. The whole lot is affected, and you'd have taken them for, not to, they weren't taken for granted, but you would never have thought you'd see a day where there'd be nothing. There's no film, um, you know, no cinema, no plays, no theatre. Um, they're even talking about you can't sing, you know, even teachers in the school can't sing, the children, you know, sing a song, you know, all of that, you know, it's just... Indeed. It's, it's gone, like, and it, there's no... You know, if, if you could say, oh, well, do you know what, come the end of December, everything will be fine in January, we'll be back to normal. But, you know, we can't say that. Exactly. And there's no kind of light to the end of the tunnel at all. And uh, I don't know what, what um, what's going to happen, really. Um, we just have to, I suppose, have faith and hopefully everything will hopefully come back to some sort of a norm. Indeed, indeed, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, the thing. But the, the only know? thing we the only thing we can hope for really is uh, a vaccine, and it sort of looks positive enough on that. So uh, you know, hopefully. yeah, it does, it does. It's just we got this far, I suppose. Now we're kind of used to this way of life that you know we can hopefully everybody stays safe and just perseveres and. We'll get through it, yep. and it's great the likes of you and all that the DJs are there playing the music, which is a great. I mean, if you had the radio, we would have nothing, you know. Yes, and the the other thing, of course, technology has come into its own. Uh, you know, a, a number yes. of singers. I, I don't think you've uh, uh, got a chance to do any of uh, Facebook lives and streaming lives, but a number of artists have. Yes, yes, I've seen that. Yeah, a lot of them have and fair play to them. Myself and technology just don't see eye to eye and I'd be afraid in case I would uh, <laughs> maybe wreck the living room. <laughs> <laughs> no, I th- ah, but, uh, no, I've done a few, I do a few things with um, what, Wild Atlantic Women is uh, another thing I'm involved with here in Donegal, which is great. You know, it's, it's a lot of... Um, Donegal women are women with Donegal connections and we've all had, you know, we've did, you know, like with these um, videos and put them all together and so if you ever get a wee chance yeah, you can check us out on Wild Atlantic Women. That was good fun over the Yes. I've over seen. the summer months and that, you know. Indeed, I've seen, yes, I've seen I've seen some of that absolutely excellent stuff. Well, yeah. Well, well done. It. The the other thing about interesting enough about the uh, the coronavirus, Donegal uh, really, really is one of the, the 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 worst affected counties, which has seemed strange because it's uh, uh, you, you know it's uh, it can be quite rural. Well, sure, this is it. At the beginning, we were flying. Like I mean, we weren't. You know, we were got this great. We're not. We don't have a lot of cases. But gosh, the second wave has really hit home here, and it is strange. Um, now, where I live here in the Fanad Peninsula, uh, thank God we haven't much here, and uh, as a, you know, compared to maybe other parts of Donegal. But I do believe out in the countryside is is in a more open space is definitely better. But then, of course, I suppose people are you know travelling um, in the summertime now. You'd had more, you know, you'd have more. Um, Obviously, everybody was staying local this year, and they had to, but you still had a lot of people coming from different parts of the country, and that, which is great, you know, but uh, I suppose 
you have an influx of people coming in every different part of the of the county, and if, you know, and that uh, that's how it 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 kind of spreads, you know. But yeah, we're 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 in lockdown as it is. We're in level four. Well, I think we're going into level five tonight. But uh, Donegal, Monaghan, and um, Cavan have been on lockdown now for the last uh, this is our second week. You know, so it's it's tough. It's tough on businesses, and it's tough on it's just on families and morale, you know. Indeed, indeed. Just, All we can... You know, and the weather's gone a bit... <laughs> yes. The other way now. If, at least for the good weather, it was something. But um, I hope... We just have to keep... We just have to stay firm, as I say, and, and hopefully... And, and just keep strong and... and, um, and enthusiastic, if that's the right word. Or optimistic. Indeed. Indeed, you know? indeed. That's the you know that's the that's all. Uh, that's the only thing we can do. The one thing about it is, uh, what we've got to remember as well, Anne, is that uh, every single uh, pandemic has came and it's went. And uh, yes, you know uh, this one. Won't, that's it. This one won't be any different. We'll uh, we 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 will get through it, even though it can be. We will. Yes, we will ride the storm, Jerry. We uh, definitely will. We'll get over it. Exactly. Exactly. And we'll look, and I'll write a song maybe about it after it's all over. Because at the minute, I can't seem to get any inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> right. You never know. <sighs> when it's ins- yeah. inspiration comes in strange ways, you just never know. Well, that is very true. That is very true. Yeah, yeah. And ah, listen, it's been lovely to catch up with you and uh, uh, lovely to speak to you. And uh, listen, you know, stay safe and, and stay well. I'm looking forward to you uh, doing some more material. And uh, it'd be really great. Yes, to- I'll send you on the second, the other album, actually, um, I Love Life. Uh, that's I've had that recorded as well now this couple of years. So I'll send that on to you, Jerry. And uh, I appreciate all the, all your uh, help as well and all you do for the um, Irish artists as well here. And um, keep up the good work and keep it contrary, as I say. And stay safe as well, Jerry. <laughs>